Why does he look like Mark Hamill right there from a distance? He looks a little like Mark Hamill. No, he probably just has pee on his face. <laughs> the movie you wouldn't get it. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions the Idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter on all juicy content. And you did. I didn't use my hands. Use magical powers. <laughs> but today, today, uh, we are doing a movie review bum, bum, ha, of a film that just released here in America at least. We saw the first showing. Um, <gasps> you probably saw it last night because they actually had like... <gasps> Thursday showings. I know, yeah. they don't do that here. Yeah, which sucks. They did a couple times. Yeah, I don't know why they stopped. Uh, but anyways, uh, we saw this. Super 30, starring none other than Ryth <laughs> Roshan. <laughs> That's how you say it, right? Rythic Roshan? That's it, pretty sure. <laughs> or is it Rythic Roshan? Rythic! And I'm wearing his under- No, I'm not. I tried to get some, though. I know you wish you were wearing his underwear. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but, yes, it, it just came out. It's Read the synopsis for me real quick. Based on the life of... What does it say? Me Patra? Patna? I can't see if that's an R or an M or an N. Patna. Patna-based mathematician Arnand Kumar, who runs the famed Super 30 program for IIT. Aspirants in Patna. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, directed by... Vikas Bal, yes, nice. who did Queen. That's yes. the only one I recognize. Me too. But uh, I'm sure he's... Okay. And there's an, there is a introduction to the world of... Uh, what's the Roger actress's Cable. name who played his... Oh, there's a girlfriend in there. We're not going to do any spoilers yet, but there's yeah. a girlfriend. So the way this one's obviously going to work, any new films that we do that just come out, we do a small non-spoiler review. Correct. And then we'll go into uh, more spoilers. That way, if you haven't seen it, you can stop after the non Spoilers section, yeah. And then you can come back later and watch the spoiler section. It's like two reviews in one. Yes. But this was a very interesting film because, one, learning about this amazing yeah. person. Which, <laughs> fancy that. We didn't know about this. Obama knew about it. I mean, huh. <laughs> Weird how we don't know anything about India and America. So. Yeah. Obama, like, knighted him, basically. Yeah. If he could knight. Obama could knight. He, if he, he can knight whoever he wants. He can knight whoever he wants. It's true. But he just has to do this, <laughs> and you're knighted. Yeah, it's true. Uh, but yes, uh, this is, uh, that, that was, that's why I, I really kind of enjoyed the film. Um, I know we're obviously other parts as well, but um, because of the story that I didn't know. Yeah. It, was a very, it was a story that you're familiar with, of course, because it's about a teacher. Yes. And obviously any kind of teacher that's going kind of against the grain. Yes. Uh, doing my kind of teacher. Yeah. Dead Poet Society s now obviously nothing like this that. Nothing like that. But, but but it is with the teacher who's going against the system. Yes. Uh, so that was phenomenal. Uh, if you didn't know, we're not a gay couple. He was my teacher in high school. <laughs> Anymore? Well, he was a theater teacher. So like I taught other subjects. Yeah, barely. You just didn't have me for those <laughs> subjects. He who sh she who shall not be named had those. I probably just skip subjects. <laughs> oh, Rick's did. teaching theater. Uh, he's teaching uh, world history. Yeah, no. You can't go to that one. You don't want to <laughs> or rhetoric. <laughs> World views. Well, that's a dumb class. <laughs> World views. It was great. Carnivus taught that class. But yes, um, it was. So, uh, what, what were your initial thoughts? My, I have total mixed emotions about it. Mm -hmm. It's a weird movie for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. um, uh, overall, I don't know if I'd give it a B minus or a C plus mm -hmm. in terms of its score, score. because okay. yeah, my overall grade of the film mm -hmm. because. The story is an A+. Plus. I mean, the story of this guy is something that everybody should know about, and it's still going on. Yeah. What he does. I he's mean, a, this is a guy He's an amazing man. Deep, deep character and integrity. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, I mean, he's just top-notch guy mm -hmm. who, the little that we know about him, is, is still offering this to kids that can't afford it. Yeah. Uh, and his ratio of success is ridiculous. Ridiculous! Like out of 450 students, 391 have gotten into IIT. That's insane. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> and that was true. All 30 got in. Mm -hmm. Every single one of them. Yeah. I mean, it, and it's it's hard yeah. to get in there. So what that for me was the top yeah. thing for me is this guy's story. But here's one of my biggest problems. What? And it's a mixed bag for me. This is so weird. Mm -hmm. 
I think Rithik is horribly miscast, and I also think it's some of the best work I've seen him do. Okay, I understand. Did you just have... I, I really... Because, yeah, I would agree, this is uh, the best performance, even though we have used oh, it too. Well, I know, yes. but we remember we noticed differences. Yeah, because we had seen Gershnatch, right? Um, and then uh, I saw the trailer, right? and you could see the growth. Mm -hmm. And he, he, by far, the, from what we've seen, the little that we've seen. Um, and Deborah. Yes. Uh, this is my favorite performance yeah, of his. I think he did a I agree. phenomenal job. Great, I actually great turned to him and I was like, that doesn't even really look like him. Doesn't. Which, which is great. But he but, doesn't look anything like that guy. Yeah. At all. Nothing. Like, if I was casting the film, but, I would never even think that Riffick should play him, ever. Yeah. It would be like having... Liam Neeson plays something that's supposed to be for Danny DeVito. I mean, that's a great stretch. But you, but, knew, but you knew that after you looked up the guy. Correct. But that's for me. You're doing a true story. It's like, mm -hmm. come on, give me, give me somebody that's gonna. Look. I understand. You know and what I mean. If if you knew about it, you know. But since it didn't take me out, it didn't bother me that's as the thing. much. It didn't. It didn't because I thought Rithik did a great job. I thought job. he did a phenomenal job. I thought actually the entire cast. Yeah, the cast was great. Really, really, really well. Cast was great. There was like not really a weak link. Which no. They, usually there is. There's usually at least a couple. Yeah. Even even like his. Uh, well, we haven't we. Yeah, we're trying not, not to spoil spoilers. anything right now. Yeah. But uh, without giving any spoilers away, his parents. Oh, loved his parents. I thought they were fantastic. Yeah. I loved that whole relationship. Absolutely. Uh, the dynamic, the little humor they threw in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, but it is still for me, it's weird because it is probably what I think is his best, most natural, smallest work. Mm -hmm. And still, I don't think this should have been his role. And mm. so, I can't remember a I don't time know that, I that happened. I don't know that I would dock it down to a C for that, though. That that's, seems a little... No, there's a, there's another reason okay. I have for that. We'll get into that during the spoilers. Gotcha. So, and I, I think I'd give it a B-. minus. I, I don't think I'll be that I'm more in the B, B-, minus. Yeah, B I'm in the B. I'll, I would probably um, land on B-. Minus. And it, it, there's multiple reasons for it, but I would definitely say uh, go see this film. Yeah, um, it's I, worth seeing. Especially if you don't know the story. It's not as bad as Rotten Tomatoes is giving it what right now. What is it saying right now? 33. Well, also, they don't put a lot of their stuff on Rotten Tomatoes. That's so true. There's like three reviews. There's like three reviews. And so... Yeah, it's not at a, it's not a 33% no, on Rotten no, Tomatoes. Most of the reviews I've seen of this stuff on Twitter are giving it pretty good reviews. It's worth seeing. Um, it's definitely worth seeing, yeah. especially if you don't know it. Yeah. Because uh, I love it's, learning... I would love to see a documentary about this guy. Yeah. Uh, so if you know... That, and this is... We'll get into this in a second. Yeah. In the spoiler section. Mm -hmm. I have two aspects of this that are why I would put it in the B- minus range versus a solid A. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I would definitely say go see this film. Uh, overall, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, there was just minor issues that... Um, there, was, there, like, there, was, there was no glaring... Like with Devdas... I love the film and there was some glaring acting stuff for me. Nice. And so there's nothing like that in this... Um, you know how I so, feel about Dev does. So uh, it, it remains to be seen if like somebody knew this story and how they would perceive it. Yeah. Because that that's one of the whole most enjoying parts of this film is learning. Yes. That's about, the thing about this guy. This and, guy's story is needs to people need to know about this guy. Yeah. And this and what and super outside, thirty. And I'm guessing most Indians know about this guy. I can guarantee that. Uh, but and it, outside of people that, like Barack Obama who pay more attention to the world than schmoes like us. He also has people that tell him that's true about the world too. So. Yeah, but that's the thing is he surrounds himself with good people yeah. because he's anyway. But definitely go see the film if you haven't seen it. Uh, leave now. Uh, because yeah, because here comes spoilers. the spoiler. Everyone dies. Blah, 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 blah. Spoiler alert! Blah, blah. That's the spoiler duck. Oh yeah, yeah. What's his name? Kunu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I want to talk about Rithik a little more. Though. Yeah, okay, I, that's, I, that's I, 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 I did really enjoy his performance a ton. In, in I don't like you can tell me if that that messed y'all up with him not looking. Like the actual guy, because I think the actual guy was a little heavier. Yeah, but he's I mean, he uh, is. But we knew that the minute we saw the trailer, so we've had weeks mm -hmm. to accept the fact that he doesn't look like the guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, it didn't. I since I didn't know the guy. Yeah, it didn't bother me. But I could see like if somebody really knew this person, and there's like a, you're casting the most gorgeous man in the world, right? As this guy, which says a lot about <coughs> Rithik. He knows he's a good looking man. You you got to know that Rithik. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. And also, since you're watching, yeah, you're amazing. And it was true. Funny, and he, and he likes your underwear. It was funny to see you try to dance bad. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah, 
we turned to each other and yeah. like, that was pretty funny to watch yeah. Riffic trying his best to dance poorly. Trying not to dance in rhythm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> but I, I actually... That's a good problem to have. <laughs> it's, it's so... This is a hard one for me because being, you know, miscast. From a business standpoint, it's never a bad decision to have Riffic in a movie. Mm -hmm. Ever, from a business standpoint. Yeah. Uh, and, and the fact that he would want to do this, for me, bespeaks... <laughs> using that word, bespeaks about the guy's heart as an artist yeah. and his desire to tell stories and his desire to want to I'm wondering change and become a shapeshifter I'm, kind of actor. I'm wondering if this role scared him. I hope so. I couldn't. It had to have. I was thinking it would because, yeah. like, like I said, brilliant performance. Um, but, like, since he, he didn't have anything to fall back on in case it failed. This could have only failed. Yeah. If he succeeds <clears throat> fantastically with this, everybody's like, okay, good, thanks for not screwing that up. Mm -hmm. Versus like he, how like, much could go wrong. If, like, something goes wrong, he has a, like, he's going to have some great dance numbers. Right. He did not have one dance number in this. No, and he doesn't get to bank on his... And it's hard to make him not look attractive. Yeah. He still looks... I mean, you look at his eyes and you're like, eh. <laughs> uh, but he, he... They did a very good job, and he did a good job of uh, not playing into the fact that yeah. he's... Because he can't be. Because no offense to the, the man, that, that man looks nothing like Rutherford Roshan. He looks very much like a, your, your average yeah. guy. And yeah, he had nothing of that to fall back on. And I feel very badly because if he got heat... For because as we know and we have learned, there's the big um, thing in regarding to if you have darker skin mm -hmm. versus lighter skin and what that means in society and people with darker skin, skin literally trying to make their skin lighter. Mm -hmm. For me, and I think you feel the same way, he's an actor wanting to portray a yeah. person who happens to have darker skin than he does, so he's trying to be integrous to the portrayal of somebody he's nothing like. What is he supposed to do? He, he, he's and I don't know the dynamics there in, uh, no. in in India, so I can't speak to like if outside of if you're doing a comedic role like Robert Downey Jr. did in Tropic Thunder, right? Like a white person, you can't darken your skin. And no. also, that has it's very different because it has centuries of racial undertones. One hundred percent, and that is an over the top, yeah. off the charts, yeah. characterization. And, and so I don't know if this is different in India. You can let us know, but I. I I did, it didn't bother me. Not it didn't it bother did, me either. as an actor. I and I think that, he would know that. Yeah. And so uh, me too. I'm not really. Uh, I also but. liked the, the the young lady who forgive me because we're, she's brand new. I believe she's the one they said introducing at the beginning. Well, there's, there's this girlfriend. There's a, there's a ton. Yeah, there's a bunch we didn't know. No, there's a ton of new people. Oh, that must be the the students. Yeah. But I think his girlfriend. Okay. Was brand new. She did really well. I think she did a great job. I like her a Especially lot. Especially being opposite Rithik. Yeah. She didn't get upstaged. I thought she played well. I thought she was believable. I actually would have liked to have seen her some more. Yeah. It was a very interesting dynamic, and I love how they did it. Um, that the uh, that was the conflict with the father, and uh, she wanted to be with him, but then. <laughs> So the, I love the whole thing in that they didn't end up together, but she still loved him, yeah. and she helped him in the end. Yeah. So I'd love also to know how, which of these parts are cinematic, uh, that's, that's what we're and which of the parts were true. Here's part of my lowering of the score. Mm -hmm. I have a hard time believing that those kids became a vigilante group that applied his mathematical lessons to their warfare. That one really just pissed me off. Yeah. yeah. I, I think they did it incorrectly because uh, they did bother me a little bit yeah. too. I was like, we've got a brilliant, personal, powerful story about a teacher who's trying to change the face of education in India. I didn't need an action sequence that reminded me of Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah. And it, I, I think it's a true story that that happened. That and he got shot and they went and avenged him and protected him? Yeah. I don't think so. No, not... I think he may... I don't even know if he got shot. No, he, that guy who was speaking in the end? Yeah. Literally said it. He said they. It, the problem I had with it is that it went all Home Alone on us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the issue I had with that. Yeah. But I think it actually like not. It was very cinematic the way it happened. Like the way it, it was happened in the, in the, the film. film. Yeah, it was more than cinematic. Yeah. I mean, they were trying to manipulate us emotionally, and I just it went. I was like. Really? Are we digressing? We've got to put an action sequence in here and see this kid apply the mathematics he learned about throwing the sack over his shoulder and now he can throw the guy into a wall? I, I, yeah. I, I would have preferred them all to just, because I, like I said, I believe it happened. Like, like somebody attacked a hospital and they might have defended him, but it didn't happen. Oh, no. It didn't happen like 
that. Like they might have just locked them in the cage. They might have outsmarted them. But you don't have something, to. Something like that tells me none of that happened. Well, that he, was that got, was put in there for for action. You can effect. let us know. Yeah, please let but, us know. But um, I believe because I believe that speech at the end was probably a true speech. Oh yeah. So you can let us know. But if it, I, that's what the the. It, general sense I got yeah, it was, was a speech and so as you said he actually used the stuff I don't think they would put that in there if it didn't actually happen because one he did get shot and he did get attacked multiple times that's what it said in the end like it said those are that's true yeah, and that, that, if that's a real depiction of something that's great it just didn't feel that way at all it was almost like seeing Dead Poet Society suddenly become no, no I agree that yeah. they, it was way too over dramatic. It would have been much more. I would have been much more impacted if they had just left it with he got shot, and you're actually wondering if you don't know the story, is he gonna die? Mm -hmm. And just just them visiting him in the hospital, you know. Now maybe that's not true, and they're trying to depict what. I guarantee they didn't apply the mathematics they learned in warfare and stood on the thing with slingshots doing that. That didn't happen. Guarantee that didn't happen. Oh no, I'm. Uh... Not saying that, yeah. but uh, I, I, I think what happened was they actually did get attacked, and they tried to defend themselves. It wasn't all cinematic like that. Right. That, that's the problem yeah, I, I had. I would like to know that. But that, was, that for me, was probably yeah. my biggest bone to pick with yeah. this was... Oh, I agree. I yeah. would have preferred it to stay in the realm yeah. of a real, yeah. serious, yeah. dramatic telling of this important story, rather than go off into some summer blockbuster action sequence that why are you doing that I don't know yeah. these kids are from the slums and they're trying to get uh, just uh, that that's my biggest mm, for the score mm -hmm. yeah but that was only at the end so I can't I can't dock it all the way to C that's, no I'm B minus yeah, yeah it's I'm B minus I can't dock it all the way down there I would have given it an A yeah I like if it would have stayed I even enjoyed the the little music what they made the musical number out of no, the no I thought no, that no, was really no. creative I'm so, you did. I thought that was creative. Good. Well, because like, it was more like realistic of how somebody who look does at, it. Look no, at, this is what you know what I'm gonna say. It was because of how creative, like people like, like what's it? If it's not true, whatever. Uh, but like somebody who doesn't know English, they know the word no, right? And so they're gonna create a song using the words that they know. Yeah, but and you're it's no, 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 no. You're okay with them putting a song in the middle of a dramatic piece? Well, they were also performing a play, and so it kind of worked. Look at this guy. Um, but I would have actually preferred the the uh, the other song. Question mark. Even though I enjoyed it, I would have. Like, yeah, I didn't enjoy it as much as the no no. Um, I would have preferred them to kind of just leave it there. Yeah. But it you know it's an Indian film, so it, <laughs> having a musical number, having some musical yeah. numbers in there is kind of you kind of just have, kind of to, have to have it now. <laughs> uh, I also I, I also loved. Um, we talked about this at the beginning of this. The, the mom and dad and the way they oh, depicted their relationship them. and the family relationship. Loved them. And they the brother. Great. Yeah. Very I, believable. Who looked like Nawazuddin's brother. Oh, totally looked like Nawazuddin's brother. Yeah. And there's two moments, back to Rithik, two moments, uh, and we can talk about the direction and the, the score as well, but there were two moments that were directed this way of his reactions that I thought were beautiful for two reasons. Mm -hmm. And they're the same. The first one, when he hears his dad say he's been accepted into Cambridge and he's on top of the roof. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that and was great. And then, when he finds out all 30 of them yeah, passed. that was great. Both of those reactions felt extremely unscripted, unplanned. Even, I was a little surprised that where's he going with this mm -hmm. reaction? I felt like that was... And they and the director just kept us on that. Yeah, I love it. And I don't know if Rithik knew how long they were going to be there, but it felt like the director was saying to his, you know, his DP, going, "Stay, stay, mm -hmm. just keep it going." <laughs> and Rithik just like, "We're going to stay on this much, much longer than you expect, Rithik, because mm -hmm. I want to see you keep going, mm -hmm. keep going." And I love. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I thought Rithik, like I said, my his best performance. Of the little we've seen. Of the little we've seen. But even in the trailers that I can tell, like this seems like he's really grown as an actor and wanted to Very kind of flex his acting muscles a little Very bit. Very much. After the two year hiatus that he took, basically. Yeah, and, and the direction was the kind of direction I like to see in a movie that's telling an important story where the director didn't get in the way, which yeah. is very hard for a director to do. I really felt like the direction didn't outside of that last sequence. That I, that yeah. that's needed, like that should have ended on the that should have been left on the <laughs> editing room floor, and the screenwriter shouldn't have put it in. Yeah. Um, but 
the, no. the third, like throughout the most of the film, I thought he did a, a this guy, the, the director, Vikas uh, Bal. Yes, Vikas Bal. Yeah, I thought he did a very a solid phenomenal job. job. Yeah, uh, solid and job. I, I really enjoyed it. It was like, especially for most of like. I, I was enjoying the film. You put little funny parts in there. You uh-huh. really cared for these characters. Very much. Uh, yeah, cared for the kids. His whole family. The, the kids. kids. Yep. Uh, I thought that it was great that they brought in that other element of the rich kids. He was like, why are you teaching? It's not my fault I was born rich. Yeah. He said, did, oh. you, eat, did you eat today? Yeah. yeah. And the, bat, the, the main antagonists could have, they could have easily gone over the edge and yeah. been way too... They were all very real. Yeah, I they could have been reporter. way too over the top. And they they were, were... I love the reporter guy. That yeah. little part, uh-huh. I thought he did a phenomenal job. Did a great job. job. Yeah, so, everybody in the cast Yeah, they're one of the best casts. Like, if this was like a SAG, I, they, they could get a nod at the end of the year yeah. for, for a SAG for the ensemble. ensemble. For an ensemble. Yeah, depending on how many people were you know were in the running it would yeah. be in the conversation yeah. for sure 100 percent in the conversation but yeah yeah and score do you have anything in the, score? Uh, the score was i thought just like the direction i thought the score did a really nice job there weren't moments and this doesn't bother me there are some moments where I'm, like when i was watching there will be blood mm-hmm. there were moments in the score where i'm just and like in, in interstellar which some people don't like that score i love that score where i'm just listening to the score while i'm watching the film going freaking A, nominate this for an Oscar. This <laughs> score is unbelievable. Mm-hmm. This was the kind of score that I have an equal level of appreciation for, and maybe even more, where it just made me feel what I should feel. Mm-hmm. That's really what it's supposed to do. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just supposed to make you feel what the if director wants job, you to feel. you're not supposed to notice it. Not supposed much. to notice it. Yeah. Except in a few areas. A few really important yeah. things and themes that you want to see revisited. I it's, thought the score was like, solid. It's like set design. If it's done well, you're not supposed to notice it. Well, And another thing we could give a shout out to here, no flaws at all in Riffic's makeup and no. hair. No, I actually thought that was a really good, after he um, after he fell down on the bike and was picking up his money and the, uh-huh. came in, the next scene, he still had a little fuzz in his hair. Yeah, uh, the continuity the Continuity. Thing. Uh, yeah, but even just the makeup to maintain the, the, the tone of his skin and match it to, it, he had to look like a blend of the mom and the dad, which he, he did. Mm-hmm. Um, it didn't look, it could have been really bad if the makeup was bad and it looked like, oh, that's clearly a lighter skinned guy wearing dark, that would have been awful. Mm-hmm. He, he looked like that was his natural skin tone. Yeah. Great job by the makeup people yeah. and hair. 100%, 100% go see this film. Yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry we spoiled the entire thing for you. Yeah, why did you stay? <laughs> What's the matter with you? What are you, stupid? Uh, they follow the channel, so... <laughs>